Hello everybody, welcome to, uh, well, welcome to this let's play of a really, really old game. Uh, this is ER, Emergency Room. It is a game by Legacy Interactive. Um, I think it's like a subsidiary of like Legacy Games. And I actually, you know, when I was a young gamer, I've always made, made the uh, mistake of buying sh video games based off show TV shows and and like uh, based off TV shows and that didn't always turn out well but for some, for some reason this has stuck with me like I really sort of really enjoyed enjoyed this one so yeah hopefully I can sort of recapture you know what I enjoyed about it and uh, probably probably share that like a sort of comprehensive thing uh, I know there's other like uh, let's plays of this but uh, I just want to give my take on it um, this game came out in 2005, so you know, great, great graphics. And you know, I've got a family member who's a doctor as well, so uh, why don't I try my hand there? So, so let's uh, let's uh, have a look at this one then. Okay, so we'll be Doctor Greg Turk. Why not? from anyone with a broken leg, but I think this is what we do. Dr. Greg Turk. Will he be successful? Will he be drummed out? You know? Let's find out. Okay, so it's been over like, nearly like 15 years. So I don't know whether <laughs> I don't know whether uh, we need to play the tutorial, but nah, let's just let's just get into the let's get into the game here. You know, let's have, let's have some fun with this. Let's have fun with this. Um, I, I have a few memories of the TV show. It did broadcast on Channel Four over here in the UK, but um, I'm not sure if uh, I wasn't able to catch it. Me, my my medical dramas were Holby City and Casualty and uh, you know the, the, I enjoyed those shows at the time but you know they're still running to this day and you know well, it's just not well like but yeah ER's you know from what I saw of it ER's seemed to be a real real top show ooh Trial by Fire that's that's good that's that's uh that's what I would expect great great graphics 6am in the morning 6.05 well Ready and waiting. Would you look at this? Day one, five minutes late. Ah, uh, don't be a banton. Cut him some slag. New interns. Can't believe it's that time of year again. I'm still recovering from last year's batch. I don't think I've ever seen a white coat look that crisp. What? Looks harmless enough. That's what you said about Pratt. Don't talk to me as if I'm not here. Think he knows anything? Yes. I heard he was top of his class in medical school. Supposed to be a real superstar. Yep. You know, you should have spent some of that dry cleaning money on a watch. New intern, right? John Carter. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. Welcome to County. Safe harbor for the sick, the weak, the dying, and the drunk. Hope you paid attention in med school. Nope. I literally just came home. <laughs> first things first, if you're going to be successful here, you need to be on time. That's no way to make a first impression and kick off your reputation around here. Sorry. But the proof is in the pudding. Do a good job. Keep your nose clean. Save some lives. And I'm sure this will blow over. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? All new interns need to learn to triage in the waiting room. Decide who's sickest, bring them back. Well, it's your first day, don't bite off more than you can chew. Like and if you're in over your head, don't be afraid to ask for help. Look, What's paramedics are wheeling someone in right now. You're on. Okay. Hank! Hank! Can you hear me? Say something! Lorraine, 
My legs broke, not my head. Stop shouting. <clears throat> Doc, do me a favor. Give her something to shut her up. Wow. Will he be okay? I've got deadlines. I honestly don't know. Um, right. Treatment time. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to assume it's gonna, I'm going to have to click on him. There we go. And move to green. Here's you're going to need to wait for tech to move. Alright, that's, that's cool enough. Something's fishy going on here. Yeah, right. Hey, hello. It's my first day. Hey, it's my first, first day. Alright. I'll just wait for the tech to do that. Hello, it's my first day. Everyone seems to be busy. It's, it's like it's a hospital or something. Well, might as well wash my hands. That's, a, that's how you keep a clean hospital. Can't talk to her. Where's the bloody tech? Oh, there they are. So, so you know, I, there's a lot of these doctor simulation games, and I think it's like... Um, it's it's all like GTA where you're sort of like um, you're able to immerse yourself into like a a type of life that you don't get to normally, and yeah, just well, that's that's pretty talented. You're, you're a good tech. I couldn't do that. All right. Oh right. <laughs> Broken Wolf Phoenix isn't my best suit. That's funny. Uh, let's have a look. Info. Greg Tarek. So, oh, just waiting in on that, just uh, looking around here. I'm going to be fine. You're going to be fine, sir. I need a nurse for this patient. Nurse. Alright. Oh, that was easy. You know what? I think this doctor thing is going to work out. Oh. Hey, I appreciate it. These are great. Have some. Have some what? What are you giving me? Oh, chocolate. I like chocolate. Take that. Thank you. I have to say, being a doctor has its perks. Uh -oh. Your relationships with the ER staff can make or break your success here. Make sure you talk to Dr. Lewis and Dr. Pratt before your shift is over. They won't bite. Well, Dr. Lewis won't. Yeah, Dr. Pratt seems like an actual Pratt. Uh, it's English slang. Alright. I'll talk to this guy. No. Oh, there he is. Excuse me, Dr. Pratt. Sir? Sir? I've only got one movement speed. Aha. Uh, sir? Sir? Can, can I just... Yeah, okay. I, I guess you have a patient here. You're, you're obviously busy. Uh, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have looked at the tutorial. Relying on my memory for this it might not be the best thing. But uh, uh, I like I like the fact that it's sort of in real time. No, in real time in the sense that like um, you know minutes sort of tick by, sort of like uh, a Jaws mask in a way, except that you can't rewind anything. Um, she should be free as soon as this guy gets up. There we go. I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason why you're wasting my time. Well, you know, it's, you know, so let's uh, talk about the weather. Okay, so this is one of the weird parts of the game, the way they do this uh, communication thing, where you sort of grow your relationship based on this bar. It's like a sort of clock, and when you do the right stuff, you do it. It's sort of like The Sims, where it's sort of like a ladder, so like you can't go straight to kiss when when it's uh when when they're on another one so she she's putting socialize so I'll tell a joke uh, this is this is pretty weird this is pretty weird stuff i i think the what I was saying before i think the problem with this system is that i'm not sure what bearing it has on anything really but i, I like brian i don't know him but you know, it's good to good to kiss up. I like Kobe Bryant. He's a good basketball player, right? Yep, yeah, planes. Yeah, I, I hear he does have his own jet. Alright, well, that's one down. Um, 
let's uh, let's go towards another patient. Because um, as you um, get better, as you like diagnose more patients, stuff, of course you become a better doctor, and that's uh, it's all well and good. Uh, let's, let's you're up. Another uh, another one of these guys. I don't think a bed free. So main exam is for subacute cases. Try to deal with the less serious patients there, if possible. Hey, shut up. Wh where are you? There's a clown in the waiting room, and I don't mean rail. See that he gets the proper care. There's a lot of unhappy kids out there. Get him and his flappy ass shoes out of here ASAP. Yeah, uh, well done, brother. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get him out of there. Uh, oh, I can see him out. Interesting. All right, let's uh, let's go fix this guy. So uh, yeah, I kind of um, I think this game sort of flew under the radar of sorts, and uh, I, I think it's pretty good. I, I think it's a I think it's a neat game. I think it's a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Well, now it's a subacute case. Hey, I was only doing what Dr. Carter told me. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, now it's a subacute case. Man, I should not be doing orthopedics. But where is that clown? Oh, I can't find the clown. Do you know where the clown is? Is he outside? No, I'm, 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 no, I won't leave. I won't give up. If I had one case go well, one go badly, I won't give up. Where's the... Where's the clown? This is the writing room. Ugh. Where, yeah, where's the clown? Maybe he's in one of these beds. Uh, you didn't forget about Mr. Happy Feet, did you? I didn't. I'm trying to find where he went. This is. I'm trying to find where he's gone. I don't, I don't know where he is. Oh, this is not going well. I can't, I can't find my way around. This is. I don't know whether... I'm, I'm a little bit concerned now. Where's the clown? Oh, this is not fun at all. Yeah, I've turned on this game. I have absolutely turned on this game now. This, this isn't fun. Where is the... F is he over here? Is he down here? Can take off the shoes. I don't think you're getting getting around well doing that. Ah, see, it's been a while since I've done this game. Many, many years, in fact. I just found it when I was cleaning it up, and so I don't know every thing that happens. I know Doctor Pratt is a prat, but that's about it. Okay, let's find out. What's the story with Mister Yuckety Yuck? Well, I'm. Well, he's got a, he's, he's got a her hand, level two. I've, uh, he's now level one. Looks like he needs a new diagnosis. Okay, if you can't completely diagnose your patient, you might need to do a full workup to narrow the differential. The staff will tell you when the results are back. 